In this video, we will transform this simple grain effect into this cool noise effect that is perfect for motion graphics. You will learn how to create this dynamic grain effect that is ideal for animated objects. And finally, we will explore how to create this modular, customizable noise effect with which you can use custom particles and shapes. This is perfect since you can match the style of the grain with the actual style of the motion graphics. The simplest way to add grain in After Effects is to actually use the Add Grain effect. This is great for footage, but maybe not the best option for motion graphics. So let's see how we can create this modular grain effect that we can tweak every little detail of. But first, let's explore some simple techniques that we can use to actually add grain on an animated object. To do this, it is very simple. We're simply going to pick the pen tool from here and we're going to draw a shape in here and this will represent kind of a shadow for this sphere. So let's just do that. You don't need to be very precise and then simply go to track mat from here and select that little sphere and make sure that you show that again. This way we only highlight the that shape layer over that sphere. Perfect. And let's name this to noise one. So, and now we're simply going to change the color of this, going to give it this purple color, click OK. And then we're going to go to that layer, go to effects and presets and bring in roughen edges. Simply drag and drop. Perfect. And now for border, we're going to select that and make that around 200. Add sharpness 10 and scale to 10. And also complexity to 10 as well. Wonderful. And now we can play with the border to increase this gradient effect of the grain. So if we increase that further to 350, for instance, like that, it is even bigger. Wonderful. I like how this looks. The only problem is that it, this is not animated. To animate, simply go to Evolution Options, hold Alt on your keyboard and click on Random Seed, just like here. And then in here, we're going to type in time times 20. And now we can see how that looks and how it is animating right over there. Wonderful. Now it is important to add more of this noise over different parts in here to create depth. So I'm simply going to duplicate this layer and now we're going to select this and move it right over here. And like this, we'll create an edge for this. So I'm going to simply give it a different color, maybe select this color right over here. And in here we can de decrease this to around 250 for instance, so that we create this edge right over here. We can duplicate it one more time and this would be noise tree and we're going to give it, place it right over here and do exactly the same thing in here. I'm simply going to change the color to a lighter one like that. Finally, I'm going to duplicate that one more time, go to the circle, the ellipse tool in here and draw a quick ellipse right over here and delete the other shape. And like that, we can move this around and we can even like decrease this. So something like uh, 200, perfect. And we can give that a different color as well. And I like to play with colors in here to create depth and interest in the scene. And that looks great. If we play that, we can see the grain playing right now. If I move the sphere, these that don't move with it. So to fix that, we simply can pick the all of these layers and pair in these with this object. And to illustrate this, let's animate this very quickly. I'm going to go to Mega Motion in here. I'm simply going to click Apply on one of the animations. And like that, we can see the whole animation animating together. By the way, you can get a free version of Mega Motion. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that. Now let's create our second noise effect to match perfectly this piece of motion graphics. This will take around five minutes to set up, but once set up, you can simply copy and paste it to any composition. And the great thing about it is that you can actually modify the amount of particles and the actual shape of the particles themselves. To do this effect, we're going to start from the rectangle tool. So I'm simply going to double click on this. And with this, we can create the particles for this grain effect. We are going to rename this to noise effect, and now we're going to go to that little rectangle that we have made and we're going to resize this. So I'm going to resize it to something like two. And I'm also going to open the fill right over here and I'm going to duplicate this. So first rectangle, duplicate. And now we can edit actually the first rectangle with that duplicated right over here. So let's move this. So move the position, not the scale. And we can even scale this to around four to make it a little bit larger. 
and now we have two rectangles. I am zooming in here so that you can see this properly. Of course, you can move it wherever you like on screen. This is totally random and I'm going to give it a different color. In this case, I'm going to give it a color, a gray color like this. I'm going to duplicate that one more time and I'm going to reposition this and give it a different position, something like this. And let's give it a size of two. And this one, we're going to give it a color of black. Click OK and duplicate this one more time. And we can once again modify the position of these each time I'm giving it a random position on the screen and even a different size and the color in this case of white. And now we can duplicate this two more times and move it around. Perfect, I like this, these are my particles and now I am going to create a few particles that look a little bit different. So I'm going to click on the pen tool from here and make a particle right over here. Perfect, and for this one, if we open it, I can highlight this stroke so that the stroke is visible and remove the fill. And this stroke, I'm going to use a stroke width of 0.1 and just leave it to white like that. And we can add a tiny more particle in here and in this case, I'm going to make like a zigzag pattern just to see how we can do this basically. Great, and now that is shape two, so let's open it and once again remove the fill and show the stroke. For this, we're going to keep the opacity to around 50% only. So our particles are done. We can close these. You can see all of your particles in here and in here you have completely control over these particles so we can even change their shape and size, etc. One step before we create the grain effect is that we're going to grab from here a quick effect named Triton. And if you remembered, we have given the particles different shades of white. So some of them were white, some of them were gray, and some of them were black. And with this effect, we can convert those colors to different colors. So in this case, the whites, I'm going to leave them to white, but the midtones, that would be the gray, I'm going to give them this like pink color. And the shadows, those are the black ones, we're going to give them this green color. Great. And like that, you can see that we have different colors over our particles. With that done, we're going to start and animate these particles. So we're going to click on Add and we're going to click on Repeater. Let's open that up and we're going to create 10 copies. And you can see how this has created num a number of particles for us. And if we move this around, we can see them properly right over there. Wonderful. Of course, these are not random at all. So let's randomize them. So let's go to Transform. And from here, we have the option to choose the position of these so we can reposition them like that but the real randomness would happen when we touch the rotation so I'm going to give it a 45 degree angle like that and that's already very random and now to animate it I'm going to click on the stopwatch and click on alt and click so let's type in this expression you can of course copy and paste this from the description below so make sure to check that out so basically in here we have the wiggle expression and the posterize time expression here. And it is animating for 15 times per, per second in this case, with an amplitude of 25. So let's see how that looks. There you go. You can see the animation happening right over there already. We have some more steps to do. And this is the last step. Duplicate the repeater. Now we have two different repeaters. And now if we have a look at that, you can see the effect happening right over there. We can simply tweak a bit the positioning of these, something like that, and we can reposition this as well to select the best parts, basically. And there we go, our grain effect is done. We use this noise effect quite a lot in our animations, and the great thing is that once you set it up once, you can simply copy this layer, so simply copy on your keyboard, and paste it in whatever project that you like. And it is also very, very modular. So in this case, for instance, we can even create circular grain. So to do that, a quick trick is to simply go to repeater two from here and zero the position. And then if we go to repeater one and decrease the, the position value in here, we can see that now we have this kind of rotational grain in here that happens from the center and we can 
increase that or decrease that however we like. And as you can see, that gives a completely different effect. And with this, you can simply pick it and even position it wherever you like. So you can like have the grain only at the edge in there and have different effects done with this grain. Great, that's it guys. Please consider subscribing and even liking this video since this helps and supports me. And of course, if there is a specific tutorial that you would like to see, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to watch our latest video, which actually makes use of this grain effect.